Okay, now, quit freaking out. This event was already predicted in the Holy Bible, that all believers in Jesus Christ would be raptured or caught up to Christ in the air. Obviously, you were not a believer in Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your Lord, and as your King. Listen here to where all of us Christians have gone and where, following the upcoming seven-year tribulation, we will be as Satan, the Antichrist, and the ten world leaders bring their assault on Jesus in Jerusalem. From the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 14, Together they will go to war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will defeat them because he is Lord of all all lords and king of all kings, and his called and chosen and faithful ones will be with him. And here is what God has said of you through the prophet Enoch, if you do not quickly accept Jesus into your heart. From the book of Jude, chapter 1, verses 14 to 16, Enoch, who lived in the seventh generation after Adam, prophesied about these people. He said, listen, the Lord is coming with countless thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on the people of the world. He will convict every person of all the ungodly things they have done and for all the insults that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These people are grumblers and complainers, living only to satisfy their desires. They brag loudly about themselves and they flatter others to get what they want. Sound familiar? But today you can change. Listen to Jesus. From the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 18 to 20, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have given all authority and have, have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You can become a disciple of Jesus, a son or a daughter, right now. Take your fear and have it replaced by the peace and strength offered by Jesus' forgiveness. Please join with me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for giving me a hope through your son, Jesus. You have allowed me into your heavenly family without any merit on my part. All the glory goes to you, my holy God. I accept your offer of forgiveness of my sins and now give my life to you, trusting and following you from this moment forwards. Amen. Well, thank you for watching episode number 204 of the ABCs from God, sharing the truth about being Christian. Please help support this channel in reaching the lost, spreading the good news by commenting and sharing today's show. And for those of you who are currently without a church group, go to my description to view a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. And if you, a confessed sinner, have just come to Jesus Christ, begin your daily habits of private prayer and of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs, about being Christian. God bless.